Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. This is SQL Server tutorial series for beginners. In this session, we will see what are subsets of SQL. And this is part 4 of the SQL Server tutorial series for beginners. So the agenda for this session is, we will see what are the subsets of SQL. And the command comes under DDL, DML, DCL and transaction control language and we'll summarize what we have discussed in this session. Let's go to the first one. What are the subsets of SQL? So there are four subsets of SQL. So whatever the SQL we write, right, which fall into these four categories of SQL. The first one is data definition language. The second one is the data manipulation language. Third one, data control language. The fourth one is transaction control language. So let's see each and every command of these four subsets. The first one is subsets of SQL. DDL means data definition language. So the first command is create, which is used to create any new database or any database object like table, view, function, or store procedure, index, etc. The next one is to alter the existing database or database objects. So the create will create the definition or of the object and alter will modify the existing definition of any object. The third one is drop which is used to delete the existing databases or any other database objects. So by using drop you can delete drop the table or you can drop a view. Right. So the first command here we are creating the definition of the database object here we are altering the definition of the object and here we are destroying the object and the next one is truncate truncate is used to remove all rows from a table so it will not log any uh, row by row basis logging so it will just make an entry that it has deleted all rows from the table so that it will have a minimal logging and also truncate comes under the data definition language because it resets the uh, some of the properties. So if you have seen my previous interview questions, right, in that I have uh, demonstrated while for the truncate that when you truncate a table which is having identity column or the sequencing number, right, once you truncate it, it will reset the identity column. So that's why the truncate comes under the data definition language. So basically truncate redefines or resets some of the properties of the object, right? Uh, like a table or view. And the next one is the data manipulation language. So DML, which is data manipulation language. The first one is select statement, which is used to retrieve all rows from a table or a view. So the next one is if you want to insert new rows to a table, we use insert command update so if you want to modify the existing data of a table or a view you can use update the next one is delete so delete is used to remove all re records from a table if you are using without a where clause so if you want to remove specific rows from a table we should use the where clause if you are trying to update a view which is combination of multiple tables it will not let you update so i'll create a separate video on that so for the delete, it will have uh, logging for each and every row. That's why logging is more resource intensive than truncate. The next command is merge. So the merge will perform the update, insert and delete operations based on the join between the source and target table. So if it is matching on the business key or the primary key, it will update. If it is not matching the on the primary key it will insert that row to the target if it is not matching on the source right if the if the primary key is not matching with a source right it will just delete the entry in the target so that's how the merge command works the next one is dcl that is data control language in this the first one is grant the grant command is used to provide access to a database or database objects 
The next one is revoke. If you want to remove access to that database or its object to a particular user, you can do that through the revoke command. Deny, which is used to deny the access to database and its objects. The next command is execute as statement. That means it will set the execution context of a session. That means it, will, it can execute as a different user, right? The next one is the revert. Revert will switch the execution context back to the caller of the last execute as statement. So it will just switch back to the context. The next one is the transaction control language. That is TCL. The first one is the begin transaction. This makes a starting point of an explicit local transaction. It makes a starting point of the transaction and it will increment the at a transaction count by one in SQL Server. So basically this is a, a system variable that is at a tran count. Next one is commit transaction. This marks the end of the successful transaction. Next the rollback transaction. So it will revert the values back to the starting of the execution. So it will not make any changes to the data or the what are the actions that are being done will be rolled back or if you are using a save point inside the transaction it will roll back till that particular point right the next one is save transaction so it will set a save point within a transaction so it offers a mechanism to roll back the portion of transaction so let's summarize what we have discussed in this session there are four subsets of SQL one is the data definition language so it will create the definition of the database or the database objects. So create, alter, drop, truncate, etc. are the major commands in the DDL. DML, data manipulation language. In this we have select, insert, update, delete and merge. Select is also considered as data manipulation language because with which you can manipulate the data. Suppose if we have a employee table which is having first name and last name and using select you can concatenate the data. You can use aggregate functions. You can also derive the columns on the fly while using the select statement. So you can also use order by clause to retrieve the data and you can sort the data whichever the way we want. Which means the way the data stored in the database is different when you use order by or when you aggregate the columns or when you derive the new columns. That's why the select has been categorized under the data manipulation language. Next one is DCL data control language that is grant, revoke, deny, execute as statement and revert. The next one is transaction control language that is begin transaction, commit transaction, rollback transaction and save transaction. So that's all for today and thank you for listening. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.